Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. Scott Schaefer is off tonight. A high school football team in Schuylkill County is preparing for its first game. Months after police say four players were involved in the assaults of two teammates. Newswatch 16's Marshall Keeley caught up with the head coach at Tamaqua Area High School this afternoon. Marshall joins us in the studio with more. Yeah, at least the last time Tamaqua Area High School football saw the field for official play was last fall, just a few days before the success of the season would be overshadowed by alleged crimes. The Tamaqua Blue Raiders football season came to an abrupt end last November. Tamaqua police charged four players after an alleged attack on two freshman teammates inside the football house just off campus. Three players were expelled, including an 18-year-old who was charged as an adult with assault and harassment. The team forfeited its scheduled playoff game. Fast forward to this week and the Tamaqua team is taking final practice reps ahead of game one of the 2022 season, hoping to move forward. Unfortunate situations, you know, it's it's unfortunate. But like you said, we tried to emphasize the positive. In my mind, I, I think about all the great kids that I coached. I think I have four of them on my coaching staff right now. You know, one's the state police, you know, three are teachers. So, you know, I've coached great kids in the past, and I'm coaching great kids now. And, you know, it's hard to, you know, turn your back on kids that are great kids. Head coach Sam Bonner says he's watched his team come together in the face of obstacles. Sometimes when times get tough, it's easy to walk away. You know, we have a lot of kids that are really stuck, stuck tight with one another, you know, decided to, you know, get back to that hard work and bonding aspect of football. Bonner says the coaching staff is staying involved on and off the field, acting as role models. I, I don't think there was a day in the weight room where we didn't have at least six or seven coaches there, you know, coaching the kids as well as kind of pushing all the positive aspects of the program. After more than 100 off-season workouts and practices, Bonner hopes his team steps up to the line with confidence, despite the circumstances surrounding last season's conclusion. Obviously, you know, that was a topic, but, you know, I think, you know, we have a lot of great kids in Tobacco, always have, you know, so, you know, we tried to emphasize that, you know, we got to kind of lift each other up, you know, we got to support, you know, from seniors supporting freshmen to, you know, sophomores and juniors and everyone kind of supporting one another. While parents and community members spoke out against the Tamaqua area school board and its handling of the incident last fall, Bonner says the community has remained supportive of the football program. The Blue Raiders first game is tomorrow night at 7 at Northwestern Lehigh. Marshall Keeley, Newswatch 16.